She was amazed by her wide presence in the tiny kitchen, the incredible strength in her thighs, the ease of the strut. In a pan hanging above the stove, she caught the reflection of herself and swooped her rubbery coxcomb back, letting it fall over her brow. She pursed her red lips, her mouth just visible, deep inside a sharp beak. She watched in wonder the staccatoed swivel of her neck, rubbing what the night before was the wrinkled throat of an old woman, her eyes now fitting on the face of a fighting cock, her red-tipped toes now claws and rough as rope. <laughs>